Hello and welcome back to another Fuel Motivation video. In today's video, we have David Goggins speaking on why you need to remember your why when you're experiencing suffering so you can get through the pain. Enjoy the video. You know what, because first of all, it does set you free mentally and it gives you a starting point. You have to have the truth to have a starting point. So when you, like, if, if I'm lying to you about who I am, or I'm lying to you about whatever. There's no starting point. There's a false reality. Right. You have to create the real reality. So that's what I call my accountability mirror in my book. That's the real reality. Where the fuck am I gonna start from? So for me, I was lying to this, lying about that. So I had no starting point. Once you come face to face with who you are, you have a starting point. All right, <laughs> I'm not real smart. I have no courage, I have no self-esteem, I have no nothing, nothing. That's my starting point. Now we can move from there. But if I tell myself I'm strong, I have courage, I'm smart, and all these are lies, you continuously push that starting point backwards. Right. So that starting point is the truth. The no fucking bullshit truth that only you can tell yourself. So it's the starting point, the truth is the starting point. Especially nowadays in this society, we like to surround ourselves. It makes us feel so good. Those people who say, it's okay. It's okay, it's not okay. It isn't okay, man. And I, and I get it, society's changing and we love to feel wanted and loved. Trust me, that's all important, it right. is. But you have to have the truth from people, hey, you're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. We all think we're trying hard, but what are you gauging that off of? Are you gauging off of, like I talked to this one kid the other day, college is kicking my ass. I said, what are you gauging that off of? I go, are you trying? He goes, yeah, I'm trying my ass off. I'm studying hard. I go, what are you gauging trying hard off of? Well, in high school, I didn't have to try at all. And I made great grades in college. I'm trying hard. You're trying hard compared to what you did in high school, which was it came easy to you. So your reality is something that you created off of something easy. So you trying hard is two hours of studying. I'm gonna tell you a difference in trying hard and trying hard. Trying hard is something in your mind just doesn't stop. We, we're, we know two hours isn't enough. So it's all about you know reality and what you're basing things off of because even though the 40% rule came up years later, when I was 297 pounds and I was fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL, the scariest thing in the world to me, even to this day, was that that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then I was trying hard. That's the scariest thing in the world. I thought then 297 pound, working for Ecolab, spraying for cockroaches, making $1,000 a month. I thought that was me at my 100% potential. Come to find out, a few years later, I wasn't anywhere near that. 106 pounds less, graduate Navy SEAL training, went on to do all these other things. Looking back on that, that was me trying hard. That's why people gotta understand, what is in us, we have no idea until we start trying hard. And I mean really trying hard, where you're obsessed with, hey, this is my new norm. My new norm is that, wow, this isn't always fun. It's not always meant to be fun. And that's when you know you're trying hard. We all have two people. We all have two people. And I'm not saying you're crazy. We have the easy voice, which is that 20% telling yourself that you're, I'm easy at 90% of my full potential, maybe 100% at that 20%. That's that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice, that, that's that mommy holding you saying, it's gonna be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. That's where you wanna be at. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is the voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. So we try to get this voice out of our head completely. And we live over here in this land. So what you have to do first is turn up this voice over here. The voice saying things to you that aren't nice. 
that it's in our head saying, you know what, man, dude, you're not, you're not doing shit. You're not, you're not a mount. I mean, and, and it's not putting yourself down. People take this the wrong way in this new society. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look, man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, 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 self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. We know. We do know deep down. Yeah, I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I gotta go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, the, in between is not fun. So we decide to live over here. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. You know exactly, it's, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing I talk about in that book that's a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't even know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. An entity that both is and is transforming. And there, there's a rule that goes along with that, by the way, which is don't sacrifice who you could be for who you are. Which means if you have to choose to transform in a positive direction or maintain your current position, then it's better to transform in a positive direction. So you might even think of that as the core of your being. That's a Piagetian idea. It's a Jungian idea as well. Who are you? You're the thing that transforms who you are. Now you're also who you are, but on top of that, you're the thing that transforms who you are. And I, I do think that that's, and that's not an arbitrary statement. You know, um, one of the things that modern universities do dreadfully now is convince their students that value structures are relative and that and that's a that's a big mistake it's there's a lot of things wrong with that idea and one of the things that's wrong with that idea is that doesn't include what i just mentioned which is that's a good moral rule is you are the thing that is and you're the thing that becomes and you should put the thing that becomes at a higher place than the thing that is that means you also have to allow yourself to shake off those things about you that you might be pathologically attached to habits and people for that matter ways of thinking all of those things you have to allow yourself to shake those off and that's more like a burning that's why the phoenix is that's why the phoenix is the symbol that it is right it's old and it deteriorates it bursts into flame and then it's reborn it's like well do you want to be reborn it's like well, that's not the question the question is do you want to burst into flame and the answer to that generally is no but that's the wrong answer the right answer is you let all that nonsense burn away and you know, and you might say, well, I don't know what I should leave behind. And the answer to that is, that's a lie. You know some of the things that you should leave behind. You, all you have to do is ask yourself. You'll come up with a list instantly of a hundred stupid things that you're doing that you know you could stop doing. Some of them maybe you don't know you could stop doing. It's like, well, fine, leave those alone for now. But there's a bunch of things you perfectly know well that you could stop doing that would improve your life. And so do that, see what happens. That's a good, that's a good idea.